you came across this question in your chemistry exam how will you answer it it is very easy let's solve together the question says calculate the ram all right relax of chlorine which contains 75 percent cl 3517 and 25 percent cl 3717 now relax this question is extremely very easy from the look of this they are asking us to calculate the ram now ram here simply means relative atomic mass please listen very well ram simply means relative atomic mass and now whenever you see a practice question in chemistry you have to note the topic to which the question is from and from the look of this this question on the board is on a very vital aspect in chemistry called isotopy and relative atomic mass calculations and in the course of this question and also in any other question you'll be asked to solve under this aspect please listen very well there is a formula to note for relative atomic mass so relative atomic mass you are looking at which is written in short as ram has a formula please listen and the formula is simply percentage one which i'll tell you what it means just relax percentage one times m1 all right divided by 100 relax plus percentage two times m2 divided by 100 so this is the formula we need to solve this question and i'll be guiding us through on what to do you know to solve the question and at the end of solving this question i'm going to give you a practice question so you solve to master this aspect properly okay guys moving further please listen very well you can see the question is asking us to calculate the ram which simply means relative atomic mass of chlorine right and there is a formula to note which i just told you please note it you can see that this question on relative atomic mass is dealing with percentages we have other ways questions can be asked under this aspect whereby they will still ask you to calculate for relative atomic mass but in some cases they will give you ratios instead of percentage and that has its own formula i already have a full video lesson on my channel that explains on all of this aspect the link to assess that video will be in the comment section of this video let's so ensure you watch that lesson so moving further ram is equal to percentage one percentage one here simply means percentage abundance that's what it means listen this percentage it means percentage abundance in this topic isotopy and relative atomic mass calculation it means percentage abundance but what written here means percentage abundance of the first isotope same applies to this percentage two it is percentage but since two was there it means percentage abundance of the second isotope m1 simply means mass m means mass number but one written here means mass number of the first isotope whereby m here is still mass number but m2 written here is mass number of the second isotope relax over 100 over 100 so now how do we determine the values to be in those parameters relax all right so we were given two isotopes this is the first isotope and the second isotope it is dealing with chlorine as an element the first isotope is cl 3517 all right 3517 and the second isotope all right is cl 37 all right 17 so now please listen when you count now we have to understand something the value of not just this for any other element at all any value written up they call it a mass number but the values written down they call them atomic number please you can see the difference here is mass number and this is atomic number same applies to this and same applies to any other element you'll be seeing all right in chemistry so 35 here is the mass number of this chlorine 35 37 here is the mass number of this chlorine 37 17 as well relax now how do we determine the first and second isotope in this topic 
You know, when you count numbers, you count 35 before you count 37. So chlorine 35 should be regarded to be the first isotope. So everything one will be for chlorine 35. Where that chlorine 37 will be the second isotope. I believe you are following me. All these things are very easy. They are not difficult at all. Moving further, what do we do? Very easy. So 75% of this will be percentage one because I told you anything that will be one in my formula will be for this isotope because they said 75% of this chlorine, 35, 17. So percentage one will be this value. So calculation for the relative atomic mass of this chlorine in this question, it is going to be percentage one is what? 75% because it was the first percentage I saw. Percentage one, the first percentage of the first isotope. You understand? Please, do I'm solving it, that's how you solve any other question. You see, don't worry, at the end of solving this question, I'm going to give you a practice question so you solve to understand this aspect of chemistry properly. So moving for that, 75% times M1, mass number of the first isotope. I told you mass number is always located up, atomic number is located down. Mass number has other names. You can also call it atomic mass. Please listen, mass number can also be called atomic mass. So 75 times M1, what's the mass number of this chlorine? 35, 17. It is 35, you understand that we said that already because the up value is your mass number divided by 100, all right, plus percentage of the, of the second isotope. This is second isotope. 25 percent all right so it become 25 times what's the m2 mass number of the second isotope what's the mass number here 37 so 37 times 37 divided by what 100 so what becomes the relative atomic mass of this chlorine isotope so when we hit our calculator for this we'll get 26.25 and when we hit our calculator for this we'll get as plus 9.25 and when we add them together we are going to get 35.5 you can see the relative atomic mass of this chlorine isotope is 35.5. So the answer to this question is option B. So you can see how questions under this aspect have been solved without stress. They are all very easy. For more understanding of this topic, I'm going to give you all practice questions so you solve and provide the answer in the comment section. Meanwhile, there are still other diverse ways questions can come under calculating relative atomic mass of isotopes in chemistry. I just explained to you that we have the one that has to do with percentages as seen here, and also we have the one you are asked to calculate relative atomic mass, but they will give you ratio. How will you do that? Very easy. And I already have full video lessons on my channel that explains on all of these aspects, all right? So I'll be giving you a practice question so you solve to master this aspect properly. So here is your own practice question. Here that is chlorine. I'm going to turn it to oxygen as an element and then i'm going to change the isotope as well here will be 90 percent oxygen 16 8 and here is 10 percent all right all right oxygen 18 8 just follow the same step you are going to get the answer to the question they are all very easy and here is your practice question thanks for watching